Now I want you to bring in some gospel music, Rev. <laughs> going to the buffet line first please be reminded that someone coming behind you wants something to eat as well we have a tendency of always letting our eyes out eat our stomach and if you get to the buffet line we need you to move it along as quick as possible because in the interest of time we are doing live streaming and so we want to move it along so we could get to that part of the program so please, when you get to the line, don't try to decide. If you don't like what you pick up the first time, you can always go back the second time. They will be serving four tables. Tables number 20 and tables number 12. Tables number 13 and tables number 15, you will be served. So if you are seated at one of those tables, please just remain seated. And the management and staff here at this beautiful hotel is going to serve you. Come on, give yourself a wonderful round of applause for being here this afternoon. Now, we know Bahamians like buffet. I tell them Bahamians like buffet so much until Eddie the brother minute sang a song for us. Anybody know that song? I went to a banquet in paradise. Everyone dressed heavenly, the ballroom fix up nice. The meal was served buffet style. You never seen such a spread. And people from every nation, they lined up to be fed. The Englishman, that's you. He picked a fish and chip. The American grabbed fried chicken, that's you. That's the native dish. The Frenchman bypassed the food. He head straight for the wine. The German just tippy heel and Philly played with veal. Then along came the Bahamian mounting on the plate. He act like he never eat before and he ain't eat no more. He had five pieces of chicken, macaroni and cheese, roast beef, pork chop. I know y'all know the song. Y'all used to sing it before y'all get saved. Eh? What happened to that Bahamian? What happened to that Bahamian? Ah, uh, he went back for seconds. The second time, the same amount on his dish. Except for a couple items, the first time that he missed, he pour it all down in no seconds flat and drink one other fruit punch on top of that. Then at last said the Bahamian, that meal was out of sight. All I need now is dessert and I will be all right. He had five scoops of ice cream, smothered it with cream, cream cake, fruit cake. He had crop tart, cream tart, coconut tart too, potato bread and cheesecake. Just to name a few. You know the whole song. You're the greediest one here. <laughs> what happened to him? Absolutely died. Yeah, you know the song. You used to sing it too. Yeah, he dropped from exhaustion and they pronounced him dead. And on the tombstone they placed over his head, they wrote five pieces of chicken, macaroni and cheese, cream speed, frog chop, black and black eyed peas he had, two conk, crack conk, conk salad too, potato bread and coleslaw, just to name a few. What he couldn't sing, he talked the rest of the darn song. Absolutely. And so... We are going to serve you. I will send your table to the buffet line so that we can move it along. We're going to move it along fast. Now, whenever I am asked to perform these functions, one of the requests that they tell me is I mustn't tell dirty jokes. And I know plenty of Christians here today. I can always check, you know, if you save and you know it, say amen. amen. Oh, ain't much of you all today. <laughs> and I can tell you like I always tell my audience, I don't tell dirty jokes. It's the mind of the people that conceive the joke, that make the joke dirty. 
Every joke was intended to be a clean joke. If you don't believe me, you could ask the old woman. 85-year-old woman, one Sunday morning, they called for testimony service. And the 85-year-old lady jumped up and said to the church, Say, I just want to thank the Lord for me being able to come this morning. <laughs> she said, my husband wasn't able to come, so I had to come all by myself. She said, but I hope next Sunday when I come, we could come together. And the whole church, just like you, bust out laughing. And so, I'm going to send you, if I call you on the right-hand side, you to go to this buffet line. If I call you at the back, you to go to the back buffet line. And for those of you on the left, I will call you to go to the buffet line. If you are on the right-hand side, table number one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. Please make your way to the buffet line. If you're at the back, tables number 28, 33, 34, and 35. Tables number 28, 33, 34, and 35. Make your way to the back buffet line. If you're on the left-hand side, tables number 5, 6, 7, and 8. Please make your way to the left buffet line. Take it away, Rev. There are two lines on both sides of the line. Tables one, two, three, and four on the right line. Tables 28, 33, 34, and 35 at the back line. And tables five, six, seven, and eight on the left side. Thank you.
by by way of announcements. The committee, as you would be aware, this is a fundraising effort. As the B3As has the responsibility of funding the teams when they travel throughout the country. And if you followed your program, you would see where just last year they had to fund trips for the teams to travel to Trinidad and Tobago, to Da Qatar, to Delhi in India, and to Puerto Rico, along with Singapore, and they had a team that went to Miramar, Florida, July 9th through the 11th. And so, a team went to the Cayman Islands, and a team went to Canada. A team also went to Santo Domingo and to St. Kitts. And so, ladies and gentlemen, this, as you would be aware, is a fundraising effort for the B3As. Along that line, they are doing a raffle. Tickets are $2 each, and we would wish for you, everyone here, to purchase at least five tickets today. The tickets, the first prize is a round trip ticket for one. Bahamas, they say one? What happened, Mike? You lose your cloudy. Huh? Round trip ticket for one? You got to pay for the next one, Mike. Nobody can win no round trip and go by themselves. Huh? Right, round trip anywhere Bahamas there flies? International. International. Bahamas there go to Fort Lauderdale, so it's international. Um, first prize is a round trip ticket. And if you go to Andrews, they'll give you two tickets. Desmond, you can still promote that, but Bahamas, I don't go to Andrews. You're smart now. Second prize is the Super Club Breezes, two, day, two one day passes. Third prize is a ladies' watch donated by Columbian Emeralds. Tables number on the right side. Table number nine. Make your way to the buffet line, nine and ten. On the left side, tables number 13 and 14. And at the back, can we have tables number 18 and 41? That's 10 and 11 on your right-hand side. That's 13 and 14 on the left-hand side. And that's 18 and 41. Please make your way to the back buffet line for us. Thank you. The fourth prize is a wall plaque. Donated by the Prickle Patch. The fifth prize is a John Bull Gift Basket. Donated by John Bull Limited. The sixth prize is a pennant with a matching earring. Donated by Colombian Emeralds. The seventh prize is a dinner for two at the Cove. Donated by Atlantis. The eighth prize is a dinner for two. Donated by Capric Capriccio Restaurant. The ninth prize is a $1,000 Kelly's Gift Certificate. The 10th prize is a Texaco $50 gift voucher donated by Texaco West Bay Street. The 11th prize is a Sports Center gift voucher. The 12th prize is a Domino gift certificate donated by Domino's Pizza. And the 13th prize is a dinner for two at the Cricket Club. You are able to get raffle tickets from any one of the committee members. So please see one of the committee members who will be coming around your table. I think tickets are on the table, eh, Linda? Tickets are on the table.
and tell the Army Prime Minister he would have come to the Olympics to Georgia and he watched the Olympics. I think he was very touched because he sat among presidents and other prime ministers and I think he was just very proud of all of our performances there. And I think once, because he's not really a sports person, he will tell you that, but once he saw how hard we had to run, what we had to go through just to be there, I think it softened his heart a little bit and he came back and he did some amazing things, starting the subvention and he did some other great things, you know, for sports and of course, you know, the former Prime Minister Pingling also did some great things. So we have to thank our leaders, Perry Christie, um, the former Prime Minister Pingling, and also the, our current Prime Minister Hubert Ingram for yes. all the things they have done to help to propel all of us in the sports of track and field. And just want to say thank you on behalf of all of my Golden Girls sisters and, and of course the Bahamian people for sure. Of course. Yeah. It's, a, it's uh, a unique fraternity, you know? Yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> and uh, I got one, uh, one final question, and both Debbie, this actually is a question for both Debbie and uh, Pauline here. In terms of um, sports and its significance to the country, and you guys, um, you ladies have been on that the highest plateau. You know, you're one, of, especially in track and field, you've won the highest award that can be won in track and field. So in terms of the significance, and especially with the new, the coming on stream of the new national stadium, a sports authority coming on board, I mean, how important are, are the uh, sports to our country, especially the accomplishments of our athletes at the international stage? You know, it's, it's very important. Um, thanks to people like Pauline and Frank, um, you know, as a little girl, I remember watching them and saying, I want to be like Pauline. And knowing our past, we know, know our future. People like Shanae Miller and the list continues. And in my opinion, sports make good citizen. Like you make better decision, whether it's for your health, for life, whatever the case is. But I'm so excited. I was at the, the sports center, I think like two days ago, and I saw the stadium and I was saying, Andretti, Andretti, we're actually getting a stadium. Like, the feeling is just amazing, like look how far we've come. And he asked me this question, do you think we'll be able to fill it? I said, well, I hope the first time we go in that stadium, we're going to be able to fill it. And, and amazingly too, and nothing to cut you off in mid-thought there, but amazingly too, you and Pauline are both um, um, representatives of the of the IAAF at, at the IAAF. I mean, well, Pauline being a council yes. member, and Athletes I know you're an, and you're an athlete's ambassador, yeah, yes. so to speak. Yes. So I, I'm thinking um, figures like yourselves should be able to encourage people to come down here, host high level events, and to fill those stadiums. Well, that's that's stadium the, that's what we're trying to do now. I think having the stadium is going to set the Bahamas on another level, yeah. and maybe starting off with World Juniors and then go on from there. But I think. We're about to do amazing things, and hopefully with the support of everyone, including the athletes and the entire Bahamas, we'll put our country on another level. Just keep getting better. And Pauline, I mean, uh, your thoughts on that? Well, if you listen to what Queen Elizabeth says from England about sports, you know, in her speech from the throne um, this year, she talked about sports and how sports bring people together and the camaraderie and, and all the positive aspect of sports. I think that the Queen of England summed it up perfectly when she talked about sports. When you talk about sports for our country, the Bahamas, we have had so many great people who have done well. Mr. Tommy Robinson, whose shoulders we stand on, who is also here with us, um, has done an amazing job leading the pack. We have our former Prime Minister Perry Christie, who often tell the story about digging his own triple jump pit in his backyard and he became the Prime Minister of the Bahamas. Exactly. And we have we have any um, 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 Cynthia Mother Pratt was a Deputy Prime Minister of the Bahamas. We've had so many our our Minister of um, Education, Mr. Desmond Bannister was also a great track athlete. Um, Vincent Vanderpool Wallace was also a great track athlete. As a matter of fact, he was our first 25 foot yeah, jumper. Yeah. Yes, yes yeah. and a pole vaulter. Yeah. And his daughter Ariana now just won the first um, swimming Fina, medal. Yeah, Fina, Fina. Yeah. Fina. Yes, the bronze medal. So, I mean, the girl has pedigree, but of course, it takes a lot of hard work yeah. on her part to get to where she had to go. And so, and, and tennis and, 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 and boxing. And I mean, when you look at, I mean, listen, the Bahamas, we are moving. And I think when this stadium come on board, it's going to propel even more for our sister sports and our brother sports so, to pull up their bootstrap and to, to keep pushing. Because I believe that in the very near future, we're going to have representation from many gymnastic, I've, I've talked to some of the young gymnastic athletes, they are so motivated. I am sure that within the next few years that we are going to see the Bahamas being represented, not just by boxing or swimming, but by gymnastic, judo, and you know, soccer, I mean, you name it. I was wondering when you were going to call it someone from the martial arts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I was just wondering because you know, my thing, my passion, yeah. so, so I mean, she threw judo yeah. in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, you know, 
the Bahamas is doing well. We are really moving. They call us what? The greatest small country in the world. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Yes, we are. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you ladies, so, much, so much, ladies. You know, we'll athletes, you know, got to eat too. So yeah, yeah. we got to let you go back <laughs> and go to get. And we, we're being joined by. Uh, oh, we got some more. Oh, two more oh, Golden look Girls. Look at that. 17 to find. I just talked about you the other day. And, and I was saying, you know, I have not seen you in years. So tell us, how have you been, young lady? I've been wonderful, actually. Yeah. What can I say? Um, since retirement, everything has been going great. And that's all I can say. Everything's been fine. I can't even believe, you know, you're saying retirement. I can't even believe you're retired because you seem so young. But, uh, you know, tell us a bit, you know, can you take us back a little bit, uh, you know, uh, to 2000 when you guys won that medal? How, you know, take us back there and, and tell us, you know, how did that feel and, and going into there and knowing that, you know, you guys were had a chance to, to go on the podium. Was it in your mind, though, that, that you would actually come out with a gold medal? Yeah, I, well, it was definitely in our minds because, you know, we were working real hard towards winning that medal. Yeah. The thing about it is we wanted to, we, I mean, we wanted to win the medal because, you know, we were working all year long just for that particular event, you right. know. And I was happy when we did come out with it because it was a good thing for us because as a team, we wanted it, we wanted to win. Yeah. I was talking about how, you know, how the sense of pride I felt, you know, I was in the stands watching you guys and, you know, just seeing you guys come across the line, you know, the, you know, I got goosebumps and everything. It must have been crazy for you. Yeah, it was definitely crazy for me, especially, you know, uh, leading the relay off. Yeah. You know, I, of course, wanted to be the one to get it to John Union in first, first place, you know. So, of course, you know, my thing was, you know, let me just get this to her in a good position, you know, right, so, right, you know, right. so we can at least, you know, try, you know, because like I said, we've been training for it. So we were, we just wanted to win. We are just determined to win. Well, congratulations again. Ten years later, going on 11 now. I still can't believe it. But uh, congratulations to you guys. Thank you. All right. Ladies, yes. Tell us, well, I'm standing here with Chandra Stirrup. Uh, she says she can't talk too long because she lost her voice, so she was, you know, the weather had kind of um, got her voice. And also we have Laverne Eve on the side here right now, so I'm going to start with Eve first to so give, you, give you a chance to, to get your voice pre um, prepped, Chandra. But Laverne, I think, um, if this is correct, 2010 would have been your last year of uh, competing, is it? If it would have. Is it? Was uh, it? No, I'm competing next year. You're competing next year? Yeah. Okay, so great. So, I mean, in terms of when we look at track and field now, um, 2010, we've had a number of accomplishments for our junior athletes on the junior athlete sides. And uh, can you talk to, um, speak a little bit about some of the up and coming persons we can look out for in the, in the field events? Um, I'm not quite sure of a lot of the athletes in the field events, but. We have a, a few javelin throwers from the Out Island, I think. Um, I saw them compete at um, our nationals and at the high school meet, which I think is very impressive because the gap is so big, you know, between me and whoever else is coming up. So I really, really would like to see other athletes get involved in javelin and not just trying to, not even just javelin in the throwing events, and not just trying to, you know, just track. And so what's some of the events that we can um, look forward to seeing you compete in in 2011? Only the javelin. I mean, well, so, I mean, what meet, sorry, not events. Oh, I haven't um, prepared a schedule yet, so I, yes. I take it one day at a time, time. so I, I, I don't know yet. Well, you know, uh, definitely this year is um, an event, World Championship, world championship year. Yeah. Um, the World Championship is going to be held in Daegu, Korea. So would, those, would that be one of the um, meets that you're going to be um, looking to compete and qualify well, for? Most definitely, if I stay healthy. 2010 has been a very you know, trial year for me because I, I was injured for the almost all, all of 2010. So hopefully I just, you know, for me as an older athlete, I have to take it one day at a time because it's hard to plan so far ahead so you know one day at a time I'm just gonna take it one day at a time all right and uh, we're gonna move on over here Marcellus you're standing right next to the lovely Chandra <laughs> Stirrup and, oh, yeah. and lady in red yeah I right, you got Chandra right here. So, Chandra, I know you like you said, you know, your voice is to us. I'm not going to hold you up too long, but you know, uh, it, it's been a, it's been a, it's been a great career for you. It's still ongoing, like we said, much like like Debbie Sabatini and you know and, and Paulie inside the call it quits, but you know, you're still running out there. Now, tell us, you know, uh, ten years, but you reflect back on this thing and, and tell us, you know, how does it feel looking back on it all these years later? Well, I really haven't looked back on it, to be honest with you, and it's it's good to know that people still remember that what we have done. We were the first to have done do it, and I'm happy that they're doing this for us, and I'm just happy about it. All right, so I can hear your voice, so I'm not gonna come, I'm not gonna hold it. But congratulations again, ten years later, and you know, well, we'll see you guys later on tonight, I'm sure. Yeah, thank you.
All right, so there you are. Uh, we've, we've spoken to all the Golden Girls. The only person here not here is uh, LDs. We didn't see LDs yet. So uh, is she coming, by the way? Did you guys hear from her? Possibility. That's what I can turn us. The possibility. Yeah. I, I'm not sure. <laughs> all right, so we'll hopefully have LDs here. So, all right, so of course, and congratulations to Laverne. I understand you say you're going to compete next year. Great, because I say, man, you still could do it. So, you know, so we got, <laughs> you know, we got Laverne if he's going to come back. So there you have it. You know, all of our people here, we've spoken to everybody. We're going to take a break here on Sports Radio 103.5. When we come back, we'll have much more from our broadcast here at the B3A. Is a was lunch it. Table number 47, can you make your way to the buffet line at the back? Table number 47, please make your way to the buffet line at the rear for us, please. Table number 26. Please make your way to the buffet line at the rear. Table number 26. Make your way to the buffet line at the rear for me, please. And table number 27. Make your way to the buffet. You are last, but no way to least. You got to get dessert first. Make it. Table number 27. Let me hear you make some noise. Make your way to the buffet line to the right for me, please. Table number 27. A pretty lady down the street one day. Here's what she had to see. Life's been unkind in so many ways. I'll be evicted. Thank you very much. Five children, yes, partly sent. Shh. Touch the person on the side of you and say, shh. Thank you. Thank you very much, Reverend Thompson. Ladies and gentlemen, in the interest of time, we are going to move the program along. I should have called all the tables now. If I didn't call your table, you are free to join. Which, line, which table is that? 32. Please forgive me, 32. 32. Please make your way to the buffet line. I didn't call 30 either? Hold on then. 32. You on the line? You're a smart man. 30. Make your way to the buffet line of the rear for me. Who's the one of the rear? Table number 30. Which one I didn't call? 32. Everyone should have, every table should have been called. Okay, this is what we're going to do. We need you to give us your undivided attention. Shh. In the interest of time, we are going to make an attempt to move the program along. And so while those of you who are on the buffet line is gathering your food and those of you who are seated, while you've had the pleasure of eating, we need you to give us your undivided attention for the next two items on the program. Shakespeare once said that if music be the sound of love, then sing on. Coming to render a musical selection is a gentleman who's attending Long Island University. He's a carifter and junior CAC medalist, and he's the winner of the prestigious Tourism Cacique Award for his song, 
I need a I need one. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a B three A's welcome to a star tracker in the person of Mr. K C Wallace Whitfield. Hello. Happy New Year to everyone. I'd like to thank everyone for coming out. Um, I'd like to congratulate all the athletes, fans, friendly, um, f uh, friends and affiliates. DJ, number one. This is my newest song. Hey, hey it's your boy Casey. Hey, hey, sketch on the beat. Just like the letter Q. Girl, I'm nothing without you. Girl, you know my love is true. My boo, although we may fuss and fight, you're all I think of every night. You bring sunshine to my life, you're my wife. No man curse who God is blessed. You bring me joy and happiness. You make me smile, you are the best, my empress. And since you've been there for me, I'm gonna love and guarantee I'll be here for eternity. You're my baby, baby girl, that's I love. Nothing else can get above. Nothing else can get above our love. I don't care what my friends say. They're only getting in the way. Only getting in the way of our love. I'm your king and you're my queen. And nothing can get in between. Nothing can get in between our love. I don't care what your friends say. They're only getting in the way. Only getting in the way. You were sent from up above. Like an angel or a dove. You shower me with your love. And many hugs, your kiss marinates my soul. When I'm with you, I lose control. Life with you as we grow old. It's my goal, I've got all my love to give. We've got all our lives to live. Life with you and a few kids. It's my wish, and since you've been there for me, I'm gonna love and guarantee I'll be here for eternity. You're my baby, baby girl that I love. Nothing else can get above. Nothing else can get above our love. I don't care what my friends say. They're only getting in the way. Only getting in the way of our love. I'm your king and you're my queen. Nothing can get in between, nothing can get in between our love. Go! Cool. Hey! This is your boy Casey. Break and scrape style. <laughs> Let's go! I need a phone card, I need a phone card, I need a phone card, I need one dead bot. Say things ain't looking right, man on my pocket tight, man are getting dead mad. I need a phone card, they lend me one twenty dollars, this girl asking me to call her. I ain't got no ride home and all my minutes gone, five dollar car can help me. I need me one ten or twenty, man I can't believe this mess, I can't even call or text. The system always down, Monday the show go round Working up my vex station without no compensation Whenever I ain't got no minutes, ain't no one got no minutes They lend me a phone one minute, I only gonna be one minute Hey, I need a phone card, I need a phone card I need one dead but say things ain't looking right Man on my pocket tight, man I getting dead mad I need a phone card all right. Why she always calling me? She must see take minutes free. Call me off a landline. She must see ain't know the time. She must see done lost her mind. Got me sour just like lime. Let us try that one more time. Trust me, girl, be your wife. I girl in a one phone card booth to see what they into. 
And I want no argument Just give me my one cent Ain't no one got no minutes But lend me a phone one minute I only got one minute Man, you need to get your own minute Hey, I need a phone card. I need a phone card. I need one dead bot. Say things ain't looking right. Man and my pocket tight. Man, I get in dead mad. I need a phone card. This sexy gal just text me. I try and text her back. Operator say I ain't got credit. I must get one heart attack. She asks what's going on. But all my free text gone. Right now she ballin' like on. Man, I can't take this no more. She's showing her positive. I in the negative. Man, I can't live like this. I got to do something about this. Whenever I ain't got no minutes. Ain't no one got no minutes. But lend me a phone one minute. I only gonna be one minute. I need a phone card, I need a phone, I need one dead bod, say things ain't looking right, man and my pocket tight, man are getting dead mad, I need a phone card, I need a phone card, I need a phone card, I need one dead bod, say things ain't looking right. Come on, ladies and gentlemen, that deserves another wonderful round of applause.